Okay, hey guys, uh, making another video. I've been on a roll lately, I don't know what's going on. But anywho, uh, went to the uh, gun show today. Um, don't go to the gun shows often, but uh, they changed the location of this one and it was right around the corner from my house and I was off. So I figured, eh, let me see what they got. Uh, well, what you're looking at is self-explanatory. It's an ammo can. And uh, essentially, the couple of gun shows that I've been to, I buy one of these uh, just to store my ammo in. <clears throat> and also, as kind of like a shopping cart, I just load it up with anything that I buy um, and carry it around in there. It makes it easier. Uh, and I sold all my other ones um, because I get such really good deals on these things. And I know a lot of you guys are looking for them. Um, and I only buy them when they're in this kind of condition. I mean, you can see, you know, like this is about as good as they get for uh, military surplus. I mean, I checked out all the seams, no rust anywhere, even the bottom. And actually the little bit of crap that's on the bottom is because I set it down a few times to look at some some handguns and some rifles and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I do fill this thing up, so let's take a look inside and see some of the stuff I bought today. So, come over here, lift the latch up. Like I, like I said, I also only buy the good ones, so you can see there was a good seal on that. Uh, rubber gasket all the way around, still there. This is a really good one. It's even in good shape on the inside. Uh, I needed more targets, so I bought um, some targets. A uh, pack of 25 cost me two bucks. And there it is. Um, I have a cleaning kit, I have cleaning supplies for my, uh, both my guns, um, well yeah, now two, because I got rid of my other one, uh, both my guns, but, uh, I figured something like this is, you know, you guys are following my videos, you know I'm, I'm put that pack together, so I figured something like this would come in handy, uh, just to keep in my pack, and, uh, instead of a big bulky cleaning kit or whatever, just throw this in my pack, and, um, I'm going to put this in that little bag, side compartment with my tools and stuff. So, Because um, if you guys follow my videos, you know that I have an, uh, a Yugo M70 under folder. So because I have the under folding stock, it didn't come with a cleaning kit because there's no place to put it. Um, usually they go inside the... Uh, the butt plate on the stock. Okay. Uh, what else? I really didn't get anything special. I figured I'd make a quick video. <clears throat> this thing I thought was neat. This is one of the things I was looking for for my bag, and I couldn't find one that was cheap enough. And I know they really, honestly, shouldn't cost that much. And I was just too lazy to make one myself. I'm not gonna lie. But this here is, let me set the camera down so you can look at it, um, is actually <clears throat> a mini um, outdoor stove, excuse the mess, um, doing some bills, but basically, I don't know if you guys can see, this slides open like that, the ends fold up, and there you go. Um, <clears throat> It came with, uh, now they're stuck, well, basically two six-packs of these uh, fuel tablets, um, see that, um, I don't know if you can see it, but basically, I believe these are <clears throat> made in Germany. These are military surplus as well. And these are fuel tablets. Uh, one or two of them in the bottom of this. One here, one here. And then uh, you can place your cooking vessel on top of here uh, to boil water, to cook food, whatever. Um, 
And when you're done, you just empty it out, fold it up, slide it back together. And it's as big as a, a deck of playing cards, a wallet. Very, very light, very, very much what I needed. And uh, it's a six pack of these, and I got two six packs. And this whole little setup here cost me, what was it, uh, four bucks, I think. Yeah, I think the whole setup was four bucks for the uh, two, pa two packs of fuel and the uh, small portable outdoor stove. No, four bucks, something like that. Yeah, four bucks. And uh, I actually saw a guy I know there. So I threw him a little bit of business and he threw me a deal. Uh, I needed more range ammo for my 9mm. <clears throat> I was running low. So I bought 250 packs, uh, 100 rounds. Um, he makes them himself, but he used to work for an ammunition company. And. Um, he still has a lot of connections and that's how he can afford all of this stuff um, and be able to resell it so cheap so he made me some nine millimeter ammo with the boxes included and it was eight bucks for 50 rounds 124 grain and <clears throat> and the free box so when I'm done I still have storage cases and uh, he runs a deal where if you bring the expended brass and the box back to him. He'll as long as the brass is still good, he'll reload it. If there's any brass that isn't good, he'll replace it and with another reloaded casing. But he'll give you back the fifty and you'll get two dollars off. So I paid eight dollars a box for these. And if I bring it back to him with the all uh, fifty expended shells <clears throat> in this box, he'll turn around and. Uh, give me 50 new ones for uh, six bucks. So that's a good deal. Uh, but like I said, he's a buddy of mine and he hooked me up. And then like I said, and you know, the ammo can. So I didn't get a whole lot, nothing special. Just wanted to show you guys. So uh, basically, that's it for now. And uh, thanks for watching.